It is September 2nd, a day after Google announced that Android Wear will be compatible with iOS for new watches going forward. So what we have here is the LG G-Watch first generation. Uh, this is supposed to be one of those watches that are not supported, but uh, I went ahead and updated my iPhone 6 Plus to iOS 8.4.1. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and search for Android Wear and see if we can get it working for this uh, first generation watch. And this Android Wear is supposed to only work for the LG G Watch Urbane right now. There we are. We have the new Android Wear app installed. Now this is only compatible with iPhone iOS 8.2 and above. That is why I had to upgrade to the latest iOS. And this LG G Watch uh, actually gave me a notification that there was an update an OS update for it so I ran it and then reset it to factory mode right on the watch I did not uh, pair it to an Android device first I just did everything right on the watch so it's set to factory settings now you can see that it matches the screen for Android Wear let's go ahead and set it up so it's asking me if I want to let Google Fit use my sensor data I'll go ahead and say yes and it wants to enable Bluetooth. So it's telling me to take my watch and swipe it. I'll choose English US. I'll, go, I'll have to connect this to a power source even though I just took it off the charger at 100%. So my watch is now connected to a power source so it won't complain about it. So we've already done that. And you can see now on the iPhone it's listed my watch. It is now pairing to it. Let's go ahead and retry. There we go. It seems to be pushing some updates from my phone via Bluetooth. So both sides are now set up. We'll start with the watch first. So these are the default apps that come on the watch. Agenda, Alarm, Compass, Google Fit, Flashlight, Google Settings, Stopwatch, Timer, Google Translate, Weather, World Clock. Now I'm curious about weather because uh, the previous workaround before official support on iOS did not allow weather to work. Uh, I probably do have to set it up on the phone first. So we'll see what happens there. Let's go back to the phone. And as you can see, there are three markers in the menu for Android, but iOS will only get two. Uh, I believe the missing menu item is contacts which Apple is not allowing Android to sync over the iPhone so this is probably why we don't have weather yet it wants me to finish setting up the watch so we do have to enable watch notification like any other iOS app We need to allow location. And we're going to allow calendar access, which is probably going to integrate with uh, iCal 
on the iPhone. So there we have it. We have the G Watch original with the square faces. So it's allowing me to choose between Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. On my phone, I use multiple calendars and multiple accounts, but primarily I go through iCal. By default, it's blocking the Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, and Google Search. I'm not sure why. I will go ahead and unblock the calendars. So, for Google Now, it's personalized it, so for my stuff, my home address is already placed in there. Uh, it's asking me for a sport team. We'll see if it'll take a college team. It will. So I'll go ahead and add the Sooner football team. By default, uh, Google has enabled location history, which used to be disabled. Um, location reporting, of course, is enabled because I chose it. Notifications are on. Uh, I don't want to know about people's birthdays. Gmail is on. Weather is on. Weather location at home and at work where I am. Upcoming trips and temperature. So let's look at watch faces. Let's choose something flashy so you can tell that it's actually changed here. So I'm going to pick this yellow one, mini pop. And it did change. So this is something that did not work previously. Uh, whenever I was using AirLink, uh, it was an unofficial way to use the Google Android Wear on the iPhone. So let's switch it back to uh, Aviator. Sporty looking white one. And it seems to be working. So let's go back to watch faces here and see if we can find something that does support weather. So by default everything you see here is already on your watch. So if you click on get more watch faces, those are the additional ones that are not on your watch yet. Us two watch faces. Go ahead and install it. It's downloading. Wow, that took a long while just to initiate a download. It is very, very slow on iOS. In this area of my, in this area, I usually receive about 12 to 20 megabits per second over Wi-Fi on my phone. So this is just the server that seems to be running slow or it is throttled for some reason. Now it says it has installed on the watch. Yes, that is it. That's the watch face. So now that I've installed the US2 watch face, it seemed to have been a package. So it by default installed the Air watch face. But you can see there's some new listings in here such as Domino, HUD, um, Invert, Museum. So it's just added a bunch of other watch faces. None of them support weather, so I'll have to go through and install all the watch faces just to see which one has weather support. Tilt it so you can see it. Or that one. That seems very standard. <laughs> Math geeks might love this. Here's Google Fit. 
Uh, I wonder if I can pretend to walk. Doesn't seem to be working if I shake it. Oh, there it goes. It's updated to 10 steps. Let's see if we can simulate about 20 more steps. So there is a delay. There it goes. 23 steps. So, tracking is working. And this is something that wasn't supported with AirLink. So tilt to wake function is there. Um, for the cards, we'll have to snap it here. Probably easier to hold it this way. There we go. If we roll it up, it'll show the next message. It has these cards. Now it is prompting me to say, OK Google, and it is working, you can see it, I'm not sure what that means, I'm not sure what that is, so let's go ahead and try it again, OK Google. How is Apple's stock doing today? All right. Okay, Google. What is the tallest mountain on Earth? All right. So the LG G Watch does not have a speaker, but it will give me quick answers. Um, through the cards here. All right, so even though I'm not on an Android system, oops, it does a good job of dictation. I can still set reminders right on the watch. Remind me in one minute. Oh, it wants to know about what? go and save something random for one minute from now and there it is notification called what because it just captured my voice so we'll do an English to Spanish translation where is the library works right on the watch without needing to function with the phone here. So it looks like there's no way for the watch to sync Google Fit data right now. Um, even though it says I walked 23 steps Unless I'm missing a function here. There doesn't seem to be a way to sync it with iOS yet.
guys, that's it. That is the uh, LG G-Watch working with, officially with the iPhone 6 Plus.